Howdy! Today we're going to talk about sight height. We'll talk about what the measurement means, what they're looking for. I'll show you a real easy way to measure for it that doesn't require any kind of special tools. And we'll talk a little bit about why it's important to get that input correctly into your program. So when we talk about sight height or scope height above bore, it simply means the distance between the center line of the bore or the barrel and the center line of the scope. Okay, so remember all we really need to find out is what is the distance between the center line of the bore and the center line of the scope. So one of the easiest ways to do that is just to eyeball the back of the bolt, take your six inch steel rule, eyeball the back of the bolt housing here, slide up with the rule, and eyeball the back of the ocular lens here and come up with your number. Uh, it can really be that easy. It's, this is about two and an eighth. Uh, you know, it's, it's close enough. Now if you want to do something a little more exacting than that, you can open the bolt, take your calipers that you should have if you're a hand loader, measure the ocular diameter, measure the bolt diameter. You want half that number, so you want the radius numbers of the bolt and the ocular, and then you take your steel rule and measure the distance between the top of the bolt and the bottom of the scope housing you would add those three numbers up, so the radius of the scope ocular, the radius of the bolt, and the distance between the top of the bolt and the bottom of the ocular lens here. And that would give you the exact number, the exact distance between the center line of the bolt, which is also the center line of the bore, and the center line of the scope. Okay, so there you go. Quick and dirty, easy way to measure your sight height. Uh, you know, a lot of guys will worry about is that exact enough for shooting long range, you know, extreme long range. Well, for reference, this is set, I have mine set at 2.1 in my ballistic program. The difference, if I have that off, in other words, if it's really 2.0 instead of 2.1, at 1,000 yards, that equates to about three quarters of an inch on the bullet impact in the trajectory. So, you know, <laughs> the reticle, reticle covers an inch and a half, roughly. So, to me, it matters not whether it's 2.0 or 2.1 but I know it's 2.1 because I've measured it enough times. Uh, you know, it's one of the least important inputs into our ballistic program, but you should still make the effort to get it as close as you can, uh, you know, because all these little things start to add up. But uh, something to keep in mind in your ballistic program is it comes preset usually at 1.5 inches, and that's kind of the standard. If you look at the back of a box of ammo, a factory box of ammo, you know, it'll show your trajectory and it'll have 1.5 inches for your sight height above bore. You know, you don't really want to leave it there unless your scope really is, but if you're running a, a turreted scope like this with a 30 millimeter tube or 34 millimeter tube, you're going to be quite a bit higher. You're going to be more in that two to two and a half range, depending on what kind of rings you're using. But uh, for reference, for the extreme long range guys, at 2,000 yards, a two-tenth of an inch difference in the the scope height number here is still less than one click, one quarter minute click in the scope. So, you know, don't don't overrate it. You want to take it seriously, but don't, you know, get all wrapped up around having to get special tools to do it right. So, anyway, see you next time. Thanks for watching.